up guys? This is Winston Wellington. It is a semi sunny day in Wellington in New Zealand. Um, it is winter. Sorry I haven't put out a video for so long. It's been fucking raining. It doesn't snow here but it rains all the fucking time. Anyway, today's video is going to be about why you should buy a Motard. Okay, for those guys who have been thinking about buying one for a while. Um, or who want to know a bit more about them, this is for you. Secondly, I've been watching some videos of some of you guys leaving comments in that, um, and see some really amazing scenery um, all over the place. So this is uh, one of the roads we like to ride, just outside of Wellington, called the Rimitaka Hill. Uh, it's really the only place where you can have a decent, like, ride over some twisty bits. So thought I'd share with you guys um, some good riding spots that we have over here. So. Yeah, I hope this makes the video a little bit more interesting instead of me just talking shit um, by myself. So, the second part of the video will be a bit of a weirly frequently asked questions. Um, I've been getting some awesome feedback from everyone on my first video and I'm really appreciative of everyone leaving comments and saying some really positive stuff. So, yeah, cheers guys and a big shout out to the Germany fans. <laughs> I think 60% of my base is from Germany. So. Big shout out to you guys, but obviously everyone else as well. Um, so three main reasons why you guys should buy a motor. First reason, they're fucking fun. Second reason, they do good wheelies. And third and final reason is, um, I actually think motors are a little bit less dangerous and safer than other bikes out there. And I'll tell you a little bit about that as well later on. We'll also go into um, a little bit about why maybe a motard might not be for you, um, and that'll be the last section. So, why they are fun, guys. Why you should join the fucking motard club. First thing I think is the engines, okay? Engines are talky as fuck. Um, big single cylinder means heaps of torque. Like, just gassing out of corners is so easy. You can just do it in any gear. Um, pulls real hard. They've got a shorter rev limiter, like 8,000 on this one. Um, but they're so cool, man. Imagine a, a V-twin torque, like, butt single, which means way fucking better. Heaps of fun, heaps of fun, and good for wheelies. Um, second reason is these bikes are so light and nimble. Like, anyone that has a jump on one of these and has a bit of a ride just has an amazing fucking time. They can, like, easily keep up on twisties and shit with bigger sports bikes. Um, you know, like the 636 Kawasaki's and some of the leader sports bikes and stuff like that, just on account of them having so much weight shaved off from being a light bike, um, which just makes them heaps of fun to ride. They're so agile, so nimble, um, and heaps of fun. Good for stoppies too, um, just awesome. Um, other parts which make them legit. Fuck, the position is really cool. I don't know if you've ridden a motor before, but when you jump on one, it's gonna feel fucking weird unless you've ridden a dirt bike before the style is like really upright um, you're almost sitting like in a chair um, when you're riding one of these and it makes for a pretty cool experience say eh? like especially when you're hitting some twisties and you just kind of feels like you're lightly riding a couch you know it's uh, quite a unique experience but once you get used to it it's just heaps of fucking fun eh? totally awesome I like it more than the sports bikes Reason being, you're not all fucking hunched over and really uncomfortable getting sore wrists and shit like that. You can just sit up nice and high um, and chill out. It's good because it kind of <laughs> feels like it's ready to pop a wheelie like at any moment because the handlebars are so high up. Um, just makes it like way more comfy. It's a good time. It is a fucking good time, guys. Trust me. Um, yeah, heaps of fun. Awesome fucking wheelies and stuff like that. Yeah, they're like, fucking fast, man. Like, the DRZs and stuff like that, good talky bikes, but as soon as you jump on like a 690 and stuff like that, fuck man, just like a whole other level of power as, as well, eh? And even the riding style of like, jumping into corners and stuff is quite fun, you know, you're just fucking sticking your leg out and going round, and let's safely get past, yeah. Cheers man, good cut. You know, you're fucking going around a corner, your, your fucking foot's out in front of you. It's a good time to back sliding around. It's awesome, guys. It's good fun. So, second reason, actually the main reason I got a Motard was 
wheelies, guys. Oh, I fucking know you love some good wheelies. So, I don't know if you've tried to wheelie a sports bike before, um, but it's pretty hard and quite scary. I mean, obviously, if you're really good at them, it's going to be no difference to you, but I honestly found it so much easier to learn to wheelie on a motor. Like, I was trying to wheelie my bike for fucking months um, and was having pretty hard time on my 636 and then I jumped straight on the motor and hit it down like three fucking honestly three hours I was doing the best wheelies I'd ever done um, and then like by the next week I was fucking changing gears and getting my back brake and doing all kinds of cool shit main reason being the riding position is nice and upright just feels feels good when you're doing wheelies um, and like when you sit back into the bike it just feels natural but nice and light and nimble so it doesn't feel like you're trying to shift heaps of sports bike rigid weight under you. Um, just feels fucking real nice, eh? The torque helps as well. Um, like, second gear, just pop the clutch. Oh, I love this. Thanks for pulling over, man. Thank you. Oh, awesome drivers today, guys. I really appreciate it, eh? Fucking love it. Cheers. Cheers. Nothing worse than being stuck in traffic on, on this fucking hill, eh? Um, fuck, what was I saying? So, yeah. Wheelies are great guys, awesome for learning balance point as well, because it's um, so light. Some people left comments saying they had to like fender scrapers down within a couple weeks. Obviously I'm not that good, but I think on some of the smaller motards as well, it um, be pretty easy. So yeah, if you guys are keen to get into wheelies, motards are a good way to start. Now last point, why, what? Winston, why do you mean? Aren't all motorbikes the same? I don't know if you fall off, it's all going to be the same shit. Now, well, I'll tell you my reason. I think motards are less dangerous than some of the sports bikes out there. Oh my god, I love this. Thank you, mate. When, when you're on a sports bike, guys, okay? I mean, sports bikes are all good when you're going fast. When, you, when you're going fast on a sports bike, you're having fun. I mean, you're hunched over, it's pretty uncomfortable, and, like, it just always feels, I don't know, when you're riding along, it, it's just always ready to put your fucking... Put the like power down, eh? Like if you're not if you're not revving the shit out of it, it's just kind of like you're just riding and waiting until the next like straight piece of road to just fang it and give it like the full banks. And then like every other opportunity is just not enjoyable until you get to that point again. And like roads like this, the is on my 636 Ninja. Fuck man, like it was so boring unless you were just absolutely fucking hooting it and like trying to get your knee down and stuff. Um, and so it just got like out of control because we would just like literally race each other because on a sports bike that's what you want to do you just feel like you want to race all the time and that can get pretty dangerous on a piece of road like they say eh? like if you come off here it's pretty much game over potentially um, so I feel like on the motards you're more content to just cruise you're more happy to just sit along pass along do a few wheelies along the way and I think wheelies are actually safer. Um, you know, like you see all these videos on YouTube of people flipping their bikes doing wheelies and shit, but in reality, if you cover the rear brake, you're sweet. Whereas if you're on a sports bike and you're racing your mates around, someone's eventually going to come off. Someone's going to push it too hard. They're going to lose the front. They're going to slide across the road, get hit by a car or something. So I reckon the, the motards, and the fact that you're happy going slower, everything is fun rather than you're just going fast. I mean, even just cruising along here, I'm having a good time, you know? It's nice and talky out of corners it's pretty cool man i don't feel a constant need to be going like 280 fucking kilometers an hour eh? now why why would you not want a motard well guys motards generally need a lot more maintenance in a sports bike um for reliability guys um motards aren't as reliable as the other bikes especially if you buy something like a fucking husqvarna or a husaberg you know, or like a tuned up motor, like a fucking YZF 450 or something. But if you stick with like a DRZ or a KDM 600 like this, they're actually not too bad. But yeah, the maintenance isn't going to be a lot more often. I think I need to change the oil like every fucking thousand or two thousand Ks on here, which is pretty ridiculous. So if you're not too good with your maintenance, you don't know how to change your oil, I probably would stay away from one of those. You would be fucking spending heaps of money. Or you could just learn, um, which is another option, uh, which is like entirely possible because it's not that hard. Anyway, the other thing is um, these bikes go fast, eh? But not like 280 k's fast. I think this tops out at like 180. I think I've had it in a track near about 180 k's. Um, I mean, obviously they got heaps of power. It's just not 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 much top end. So if you, all your mates are like 
fucking Harry hardcore, let's go 300 k's everywhere and just be like straight line speed races. Yeah, this probably isn't the bike for you, to be honest. You probably want something that's going to be like a thousand, thousand, a liter sports bike or you know some shit like that. The other thing is if you if you do like a shitload of commuting, I wouldn't really recommend these bikes just because of the maintenance. So like. For example, I mean, if you just, if it's 10 minutes to work, yeah, by all means, use your motor. But if you're commuting for like 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour every day, probably not the most ideal for you. You probably want to go for something something else. Um, just on the account of the maintenance side of things. Um, and the seat isn't that, oh, I mean, I'm used to it now, but yeah, the seats can't be, can be pretty uncomfortable at times. So, unless you want to chuck in like 350 bucks for a new seat, you probably might want something a bit more comfortable. I think the main the main thing is don't expect to be going 240 k's everywhere. Don't expect it to be lightning fast. Um, but if you're out for something with that's going to fucking put a smile on your face every time you ride it, no matter whether you're pooning or whether you're just cruising, I guarantee, man, this thing will just be fucking awesome all the time. You know, opt for a motard and fucking ride one too. I bet you when you ride one, you probably won't want to go back. Um, and that's and that's that. That's my little shit talk about motards, guys. Um, and my fucking first and probably not that great attempt at a vlog. But I hope it was somewhat informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the Rumor Tucker Hill too. Um, I hope it didn't take too long. I might have to edit that video. Stay tuned for the Willy Fact. I'll be with you shortly. Cheers.